Hey there, cats and kiddos! Welcome back. It's, you guessed it, Uda. It's always Uda. I don't know why I keep saying that. We've got another Animal Crossing video for you today. We're covering the stamp rally, guys! It is officially the 18th of May, and the stamp rally only just became available. So if you guys are looking for any information to see how it works, keep watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy! Now, I hate being an absolute sappy sausage, but I just wanted to take a minute to, again, say holy butts! Thank you guys so much for all of the support, the comments, the likes, the subscribers. You guys have been absolutely wonderfully amazing. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna straight up say it now. The Animal Crossing community has to be one of the absolutely nicest and, and most supportive, wonderful communities that I have ever been a part of, so just huge thanks. Huge thanks! I'm really happy that you are enjoying the content and it is helping you guys, like that is all I could possibly ask for, so thank you, thank you so, so much. If you haven't already, remember to drop a sub and let's get into the video. Like Blather says, in honor of International Museum Day, we're holding a stamp rally. The stamp rally lasts for the, the last two weeks of May, so don't worry about rushing it or anything. You have plenty of time to get it done. So in each of the different galleries, the bugs, the fish, and the fossils, we have to fill up a stamp card. In order to do that, we have to find the stations in each gallery and acquire the necessary stamps. In each area, like in the bug area, there are three stamps to get. In the fish area, Area, there are three, and in the fossil area there are three. Now of course if you can complete the stamp card, you will get a prize for each one that you finish. Let's start over with the bug exhibit. I really like that one. I have a lot of the different butterflies. I think it's really pretty. Now I will point out, if you are trying to follow along with this video, you might have some issues because it seems there are a number of stamp cards. The uh, stamp spots that you go to stamp your cards in are gonna be different. I'm not sure if it's different on different days or exactly how it's randomized, but it's definitely randomized. So your stamp spots might be in different locations. But to be honest, the museum isn't that horribly big and it gives you a good excuse to, if you haven't, or at least if you haven't in a while, take a look around and see some of the stuff you've collected. Like I said, I come to the bug area from time to time just enjoy the butterflies. Sometimes my other villagers will be there looking at the bugs too and we'll have a little chat. It can be really nice, relaxing. It's also just really pretty too, like the fish area with all the sharks and all of the, the crazy dinosaur bones in the fossil area, so I think that's one of the uh, interesting and cool points of the Stamp Rally and Museum Day is to encourage you to take a look at your museum and, and see the progress you've made and see how cool it looks and maybe, you know, encourage you, finish it up, motivate you a little bit more. Or if you've already finished, make you feel really proud about the work you've put in. Looks like that's gonna be our last stamp for the bug card. Woo, guys! We finished our first card. Yay! Let's move on to the next area. Off to the aquarium to see some fish and get some stamp. You know, another really neat thing about the stamp rally is it seems that all the little stamp podiums are giving you a little bit of information about the exhibits that they happen to be around, which is really cool. I love learning new things. It's pretty, it's fun, and gosh darn it, it's educational. That's a good, that's a good combination of things, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I think it's a good combination of things. Seeing some of these uh, tanks and exhibits so empty and other ones so full though definitely is giving me that motivation to want to work harder and catch more of these fish. I don't want them to be all lonely in there. Nobody wants lonely sad fish in the aquarium. That wouldn't be fun to bring the villagers to. Let's see, we've got two out of three now. We've only got one stamp left here in the aquarium area. There aren't many more spots it could be, so I'm sure we'll find it any minute now. Aha! There we go. There's the final one. Colorful, vibrant, warm sea. I want to swim here. Yeah, that does sound pretty dope, actually. <laughs> the coral reef stamp. Yes, we've collected all of the fish stamps and filled up that punch card. Woo! Clap, clap, clap. All right now, guys, let's make our way over to the fossil section of the museum and fill up this last stamp card. <laughs> Can't even really finish my sentence because there's already one of the stamp stands right here. Well, let's get our first fossil stamp and then we'll move into the good area, the big area with all the dinosaurs. Fossil section 
is the one that I am fairly proud of. I'm almost finished. Almost, almost. Not quite, though. I'm missing, like, one piece of the Triceratops fossil, I believe. And then I will be finished. But it's still pretty epic. So, yeah. <laughs> I really like it in here. I come, I come visit this place for sure. Okay, let's see if we can find that last... Oh! Oh, oh, okay. Well, the the last one is right here, so I guess don't even have to go into the other room or go up the stairs in the, the back air. Well, I get there we go. We we finished we finished the fossil card. <laughs> that one caught me a little bit by surprise. Okay now, let's wake up Blathers and see what kind of dope prizes he's gonna give us. We finished the bug rally exhibit. I know, you're you're a little bit afraid of bugs, Blathers. It's Weird. Give me my prize. Jolly good. Oh, and we get an extra- I was wondering what that extra little circle was for. Okay, completion stamp. Awesome. I've got a surprise, Blathers. We've already finished the next card. I know. Aren't you impressed? I bet he's impressed. He seems impressed. You don't have to tell me to take photos. I know this place is beautiful, you crazy owl. And we've got our second prize. Completion stamp. Woohoo! Well, Blathers, I've already done it! <laughs> yeah! Thank you for the third prize, sir! We did it, guys! All three stamp rally rewards! in record time. I mean, probably not. Probably, probably could have been faster. <laughs> Yay, we've collected all the stamps available today, which, you know, I think what that means is since International Museum Day runs for the next two weeks of May, you'll be able to do the stamp rally every day. I'm not exactly sure if the rewards are going to change. I would assume so. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of the exact same rewards, which Let's see what those are right now. Okay, let's see what these prizes are. Oh! They're the different plaques from the museum! The fossil plaque and the bug plaque and the fish plaque! That's pretty cool! I'm gonna have to think of a nice place to put these, actually. I'm probably gonna have to make a trophy area for all of the different, like, stuff you get from the the bug competition and the fishing competition and the happy home academy and all of that that's really neat i wonder what you get for tomorrow and the next day like i'm going to assume that you get different prizes every day so i'm excited to see what we get tomorrow maybe i'll make another video we'll see well that's gonna be it for this video on the stamp rally you guys i hope you made it this far i hope you enjoyed it Thank you so much for watching, and thank you again for all of the amazing support. You guys are so wonderful. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It means so, so much to me, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Later!